Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Moodle connector for Magento 2 and with the help of this extension you will be able to integrate the Moodle platform within your Magento web store thereby allowing the creation of Moodle courses that can be purchased by the users from your Magento web store itself. If a user doesn't have an account on Moodle then after purchasing the course in Magento store the user account is created in the Moodle automatically. Also, when the invoice gets generated, the user will be enrolled for the purchased course on Moodle as well and the user gets notified via an email for the enrollment in Moodle itself. So let's get ahead and let's see how this extension works. But before that, we need to go to the admin backend and check the admin backend configuration settings that are needed for the proper functioning of this extension and after that we'll be showing you how this extension works at the front end as well but before that we'll go ahead and we'll be we'll be generating the uh, Moodle credentials that are required uh, in the admin backend panel or the tokens so uh, what we'll do is we'll be going to the uh, we'll, be we'll be going to the front end of the Moodle uh, and we'll be logging to our Moodle LMS. Uh, so for that, uh, let's go to the uh, the front end of the Moodle LMS, and we'll be logging therein. So here we are on the Moodle uh, front end right now, and we'll be logging in from here by clicking the login button on the top right hand corner here. And now I'll be entering my username and password for logging into the Moodle. So I've already logged into the Moodle now and as an admin user right now. So uh, the very first thing that the admin needs to do is to enable the web services in the Moodle. So for that what we'll be doing is we'll be going to the side administration uh, menu here on the left hand side. We'll be clicking that up. And after that we'll be going to the advanced features here. Under the site administration, we are going to the advanced features. Just click on that button. And here, uh, we need to enable the web services. So we'll just scroll down a bit. And here we have the option enable web services. We need to enable it up. And we'll scroll down to the page and we'll click the save button after that. After this, we'll be enabling the protocols and for that, the admin will navigate through site administration on the left hand side. Just click on that. And go to plugins. And now, after clicking on the plugins, link just scroll down to the end of the page and here under the web services click on the manage protocols link that you see and on the manage protocols page what we need to do is we need to enable the three protocols that's the rest soap and xml protocols so we'll be enabling each of them one by one And after enabling them, we'll just scroll down a bit and we'll check the option. We'll enable the option as the web services documentation uh, option. We'll select that and we'll click the save changes after that. So we have uh, saved the changes and we have uh, activated our web service protocols and we have uh, activated the web services documentation as well. And now after this we need to create a service. So for creating a service we need again to go to the site administration section first. And here we need to go to plugins link here. Then we'll scroll down to the end of the page. And under the web services we'll click the external services. Or the external services here 
this brings up the external services page in front of us now here to add a new service we'll click on the add button on the left hand side that we see here the add link is there we'll just click that up and this brings up the section to uh, create a new external service so what we'll do is we'll just enter the name of the service i'll just name it for the time being as extern underscore service uh, and i'll keep a short name and i'll make it as enabled and i'll click on the add service button here After that, after creating the external service, we need to add functions to this service. So we just need to click the add functions link here on the left hand side. So first we need to uh, select. So here on the external services, we need to add the functions and we have to add around five functions here. So what I'll be doing is I'll be just clicking on the search section here the search box that we have I'll, and i'll be entering core underscore enroll underscore get underscore course underscore i've added one after that we'll be adding core underscore enroll underscore get underscore n rolled underscore users and with capability after this we'll be adding after this we'll be adding core users get users after that we'll be using core underscore user underscore create underscore users and lastly we'll be adding up uh, enroll manual underscore enroll users and after uh, adding these functions uh, you just need to click the add functions button to add the selected functions to this list so we have already now added the functions to the service external service and we have uh, created the functions for with the descriptions out there so uh, now we'll be going ahead and we'll be creating a token and to create token what we'll be doing is we'll be going to the site administration uh, link on the left hand side and after that we'll be navigating to we'll be navigating to uh, plugins then we'll scroll down to our web services and here we'll click on the manage tokens option link that we have and here to add the tokens we'll scroll down and we have an add button here we'll click that up and this uh, brings up the section to create the token so what we'll be doing is we'll be first selecting uh, the user for whom we are creating this so it would be admin user and after that we'll be uh, selecting a service so here we'll be selecting uh, and here we'll be selecting the service as our service that we have created that was an extra service and we'll be clicking on the save changes after that and this would uh, create uh, our token and here we have the token is here so this was our one token that was required so this uh, token was created uh, for our external service now we need to create any uh, one more uh, 
uh, what we call as token for the Moodle mobile web service. So for that, we'll be uh, repeating this uh, once again, and we'll be doing uh, what we'll be doing is we'll be clicking on the add button, and after that here we'll be selecting uh, the user that was the admin user. Then uh, the service would be Moodle mobile web service, and we'll click on the save changes after that. And this creates the uh, Moodle web service. Now you can see uh, that the external service that we created, uh, the token is here. And for the Moodle web services, the token is here. And these are th these two tokens are to be entered in the admin backend panel for the module configuration. So. Uh, so that was all about how to uh, create the token and the various uh, services there uh, for the Moodle connector. We also showed you how to enable the web services, then the protocols and how to create a service and adding the functions to a service and we showed you how to create a token. So that was all about uh, this uh, uh, Moodle connector for Magento 2 configuration uh, that needed to be done. So uh, in the next video tutorial, we'll be showing you the admin backend configuration for this extension and the various options that the admin has uh, in the admin backend. And we'll be showing you how this extension works as well in the next coming up video. If you have any queries or questions regarding this extension, you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.ubidus.com. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day.